I will discuss obviously some basic question but actually today's goal of this lecture is I will discuss some conceptual question of linear algebra and if you know this concept in better way then you will gain one deep knowledge on linear algebra. First goal of this lecture is I will see one example which is linearly independent or not. Just I will verify this question. Here I will use homogeneous equation. By the given vector, I will create an homogeneous equation. And we all of us know, if determinant of this matrix is not equal to zero, that means all vector be linearly independent. Here I will use this concept and second goal of this lecture is in my previous video I had seen if given to subspace u and v then I will see what is the sum of this subspace what is the intersection between this subspace I will see this and I will see basis of this subspace u v u plus v and u intersection v and I will see this basis by extension theorem. This is very basic question but here more concept we will use to find basis of u v u plus v and u intersection v. So I will highly recommend you please pay attention in today's video question given set is c0 infinity which is the vector space of all continuous function on c0 infinity and we have to check the set which contain the vector x sin x cos x is this set is linearly independent or not vector space is set of all continuous function on c0 infinity and we have to find the set which contain the vector x sin x cos x is this set is linearly independent for this we have to check c1 x plus c2 sin x plus c3 cos x equal to here since x sin x cos x are function equal to 0 means here 0 function we have to check is the scalar c1 c2 c3 equal to 0 that means we have to check is this scalar is 0 for this now just differentiate equation with respect to x then i will get c1 minus c2 cos x sorry here plus minus c3 sin x equal to 0 now again differentiate this equation then I will get minus c2 sin x plus sorry minus c3 cos x equal to 0. Here notice this equation is ax equal to 0 equation homogeneous equation such type because from these three equation we can create this type of homogeneous equation here x means c1 c2 c3 here the matrix would be such type x sin x cos x here the coefficient of c1 is 1 so here 1 cos x minus sin x here coefficient of c1 would be 0 that means here 0 minus sin x minus cos x equal to 0 vector. Have you understood this matrix how we have to find this homogeneous equation and to create this homogeneous equation I have differentiate this equation at first differentiate this equation with respect to s then again I have differentiate this equation with respect to x. Okay. 
Have you understood? I hope my all viewers have understood. Then, since here the homogeneous equation x equal to 0 solution, so here I will use the determinant. Differentiate with respect to uh, column here x times minus cos square x minus uh, sin square x plus with respect to 1 then this would be minus sin x cos x here plus cos x sin x ok just would be omit this part then this value would be minus x sin square x plus cos square x and this value is obviously equal to 1 that means this value is minus x therefore determinant of this matrix is minus x and here this x belongs to c0 infinity and notice since here the interval is open interval that means here 0 not be include because here x belongs to c0 infinity and since here the open interval that means this value is not equal to 0. So since the determinant is not equal to 0 so the set who is content x sin x cos x are linearly independent. Have you understood this question in proper way? Okay. Here I have differentiated this equation three times to find this matrix. Actually, first, by this equation, we cannot tell is this scalar is zero or not. So I have differentiated and then I have created one nice matrix, one homogeneous equation. And we all of us know if determinant of this matrix is not equal to 0 then the matrix who is contain this vector obviously this vector would be linearly independent this is our concept next call i will see one example the example is suppose we have a vector space p3x where obviously p3x means set of all polynomial whose degree less than equal to 3 and since p3x means set of all polynomial degree less than equal to 3 that means obviously dimension of this vector space would be 4. Now consider one subspace the subspace is such type polynomial belongs to vector space such that p1 equal to 0 and consider another subspace w such that polynomial belongs to vector space and p prime 1 equal to 0. Then check u plus w, u intersection w and u and w in terms of dimension and not only dimension in terms of basis and extension of each basis of vector space that means at first find the basis of these four subspace and then extend this basis as a basis of vector space okay this very nice example here the set is p3x which is actually set of all polynomial degree less than equal to 3 and the subspace would be such type pv such that p1 equal to 0 that means this subset would be such type since here u is the set of all polynomial degree less than equal to 3 that means the polynomial would be such type a plus bx plus c x square plus d x cube and since p1 equal to 0 that means a plus b plus c plus d equal to 0 
Okay. That means the set would be such type a plus bx plus cx square plus dx a cube. What? That this equation imply a equal to minus b plus c plus d. Okay. Now put the value here. Then this would be minus b plus c plus d plus bx plus cx square plus dx a cube. Have you understood? Oh well. And by this equation, this imply b times x minus 1 plus c times x square minus 1 plus d times x a cube minus 1. Okay? And notice here the subspace u is generated by the vector when vector is the actually the set of polynomial generated by the vector x minus 1, x square minus 1 and x cube minus 1. That means u is spanned by the polynomial x minus 1, x square minus 1 and x cube minus 1. Have you understood? Okay. Here, since the question, we have to find the basis of u. That means, we have to find is this spanning set is linearly dependent or not. For this, c1 times x minus 1 plus c2 times x square minus 1 plus c3 times x cube minus 1 equal to 0. And here, since the set of vectors is polynomial, that means, obviously 0 means 0 polynomial and that imply C1x plus C2x square plus C3x cube minus C1 plus C2 plus C3 equal to 0 polynomial. Have you understood? Now, just since this is the 0 polynomial, just compare the coefficient by comparing I will get C1 equal to C2 equal to C3 equal to 0. Have you understood? That means since I have got C1 equal to C2 equal to C3 equal to 0, that means this spanning set is linearly independent. So, obviously, since this spanning set is linearly independent, so, obviously, this is, is the basis of the subspace U. Okay? Now, we have to extension the basis of original vector space P. Notice the basis vector x minus 1, x square minus 1, x cube minus 1. Notice? And notice these 1 does not contain in this basis vector. Okay? So, we can extend the basis such type 1, x minus 1, x square minus 1 and x cube minus 1. Means all vector b are linearly independent. So, obviously this is the basis vector of the original vector space B where B is the set of all polynomial degree less than equal to 3 whose dimension is 4. Have you understood? Here I have used the extension theorem. Since 1 does not belong to e in this vector, so we can include the vector 1 in this set. And since all vector B linearly independent, so obviously this spanning set is the basis vector of original vector space B. Okay. Similarly, notice the subset W. Here, obviously, W contain set of those polynomials such that their derivative at the point 1 equal to 0. Is this set B subspace? Of course, no. This type of subset is of always subspace because uh, as per review, if we consider two polynomial P1x and P2x, then P1 plus P2 prime x 
by the rules of addition this is would be p prime p1 prime x plus p2 prime x okay and here uh, restriction p belongs to v such that p prime 1 equal to 0 so here just put the value of x equal to 1 that means this is p1 prime 1 plus p2 prime 1 and this value equal to 0 plus 0 which is equal to 0 that means p1 plus p2 here belongs to the subset w similarly alpha p prime 1 equal to alpha p prime 1 which is equal to 0 so alpha p also belongs to the subset w so obviously this subset w is a subspace have you understood now we have to find the dimension of this subspace w similar to before similar to you here the subset w is px belongs to vector space such that p prime 1 equal to 0 obviously that means similar to before this is a plus bx plus cx square plus dx cube and since here p prime 1 equal to 0 so after differentiate just putting the value 1 then this would be b plus 2c plus 3d equal to 0 that implies b equal to minus 2c minus 3d so put the value b here then this would be a plus minus 2c minus 3dx plus cx square plus dx cube and who is this equal to a plus c x square minus 2x plus d x cube minus 3x that means the subset w is spanned by 1 x square minus 2x comma x cube minus 3x and obviously just similar to before check it own cell this subspace this subset who is contained by this polynomial obviously be linearly independent so since w is spanned by this vector which is linearly independent so obviously dimension of w is 3 okay and notice here the subspace w is spanned by 1 x square minus 2x x cube minus 3x this linear 3 linearly independent vector and here notice x does not belongs to the subspace w so we can extend the basis 1 x x square minus 2x and x cube minus 3x obviously this set would be linearly independent and this span the whole space b so this is the basis of the original vector space b have you understood now we have to find the basis of u plus w and basis of u intersection w and this is actually set containing p belongs to v such that p1 equal to 0 and p dash 1 equal to 0 the subspace, subspace u intersection w that means this is actually p belongs to the vector space v such that p1 means i have got a plus b plus c plus d equal to 0 and p dust 1 means i have got b plus 2c plus 3d equal to 0 and from this b equal to minus 2c minus 3d this a equal to minus b minus c minus d now put the value of b here then this would be minus 2c minus 3d minus c minus d then this implies equal to c plus 2d but i have got a equal to c plus 2d b equal to minus 2c minus 3d now put this polynomial then this would be a plus 
सॉरी हेयर पुट द वैल्यू सी प्लस पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सी प्लस टू डी प्लस बी मीन्स माइनस टू सी माइनस थ्री डी एक्स प्लस सी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस डी एक्स ए क्यूब ओके दैट मीन्स दिस इम्प्लॉय सी टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन प्लस डी टाइम्स एक्स एल क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस टू ओके मीन्स ऑबियसली द सब स्पेस यू इंटरसेक्शन बी इज स्पेनिंग स्पेनिंग बाय दिस टू पॉलिनेमियल दैट मीन्स यू इंटरसेक्शन बी इज स्पेन बाय दिस टू पॉलिनोमियल एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन कॉमा एक्स एर क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस टू एंड ऑबियसली दिस स्पेनिंग सेट इज लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट सो डायमेंशन ऑफ यू इंटरसेक्शन डब्ल्यू इज नथिंग बट इज इक्वल टू टू Have you understood? Okay. Means this is the basis vector of the subspace U intersection W. Now we have to extend this basis vector on the basis vector B. Notice the basis vector of U intersection W. Notice here x does not belongs to this spanning set. U intersection W. Also, one does not belongs to the spanning set U intersection W. So we can tell obviously one comma x comma x square minus two x plus one comma x cube minus three x plus two be the basis of the Original vector space B because this is the spanning set of original vector space B. Also, this spanning set is obviously linearly independent. Have you understood how we have to find the extension basis of original vector space B by the subspace? Okay. We have to find the U plus W, and U plus W means actually the set of those polynomials. P x plus Q x says that P x belongs to the subspace U and Q x belongs to the subspace W. This set is such type we all of us know. Then since and since the basis vector of the subspace U is one x minus one x square minus one x square cube minus one and this vector of subspace W is One x x square minus two x and x cube minus three x means the subspace U plus W is linear combination of alpha one x minus one plus alpha two x square minus one plus alpha three x cube minus one plus beta one plus beta two x square minus two x plus beta beta three x cube minus three x where Alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, beta one, beta two, beta three belongs to R. That means the subspace U plus W is spanned by the vector, which is actually polynomial. X minus one, x square minus one, x cube minus one, one x square minus two, x cube minus three x. But notice here, this subspace contain. Two, three, four, five, six, six vector. But we all of us know U plus W be the subspace of the vector space B. But since dimension of the vector space is four, so obviously the dimension of U plus W would be less than equal to four. So obviously in such vector, obviously some vector would be linearly dependent. That means. The subspace U plus W is linear combination of alpha one x minus one plus alpha two x square minus one plus alpha three x cube minus one plus beta one plus beta two x square minus two x plus beta beta three x cube minus three x where alpha one alpha two alpha three beta one beta two beta three belongs to R. That means. The subspace U plus W is spanned by the vector, which is actually polynomial. 
x minus 1, x square minus 1, x square cube minus 1, 1, x square minus 2, x square cube minus 3x. But notice, here this subspace contains 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 vector. But we all of us know, u plus w be the subspace of the vector space v. But since dimension of the vector space is 4, so obviously the dimension of u plus w would be less than or equal to 4. So obviously in such vector, obviously some vector would be linearly dependent. We all of us know dimension of u plus w is equal to dimension of u plus dimension of w minus dimension of u intersection w okay and i have got dimension of u is 3 here also 3 and here minus 2 that means dimension of u plus w would be 4 have you understood okay means from this theorem, we can tell dimension of u plus w would be 4. That means u plus w will be contain 4 vectors. And notice here, these 4 vectors always be linearly independent. And these 2 vectors, x square minus 2x is linear combination of this polynomial. Also, x cube minus 3x is linear combination of this polynomial. That means u plus w, the basis vector of u plus w co will contain this vector. And these vector are linearly independent. So, this is the basis vector. Here, dimension is 4. That means this is actually the basis vector of main vector space V. So, my all viewers have understood this question easily. If you understand this question easily, then you can verify any type of question, any such type of question. Okay? Oh, yeah. Today I will stop here. In my next video, I will discuss inner product space and linear transformation. Okay? See you soon. Stay safe and stay positive always and don't forget to do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.